Hello everyone, hope you're all really well. Okay, so tonight's video is the last day of the month cashed up and count up of everything that I've managed to save throughout the month of January. And I have my change there left over from the last three days. I've also got £10 in there from my dog walking that I done last night. So let's have a little count up. I think it's 25. Yep, £25 to uh, go into my cash stuffing money. So let's have a count up and see what I've got to cash stuff tonight. Um, right, I can't believe that's it. January is done and dusted. So let's get rid of those envelopes, have a count, see what I've got in total. And then we can, yeah, do some cash stuffing together and, yeah, see what I've saved. So, right, to cash stuff tonight, I've got 20, 40, 60, 81, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 3, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So £330 I've got to cash up tonight. So I'm just going to pause the video and work out exactly what envelopes I want it to go in and I'll be right back. Right, okay, I've had a little workout and the first one that I'm going to do is in the back here and be really good again. And I'm going to put £70 straight into Christmas. So 20, 40, 50, 60 and 70. And obviously, yeah, it's only um, the end of January. So I put some in at the end of uh, December. So it's already underway. So these are £10 a ball ball, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 and 70. So I'll just mark these little seven dots off. And that's then done. I've also moved my ring light up a little bit as well. I'm not sure if he was getting a little bit of a glare. So, right, £70 going into Christmas. I'll give you a little tally up as well and let you know what's what's in each like um, individual envelope nearer the end. Right, okay, next one I want to do is birthdays. I've got it all jotted down here, I've had to work it out. Right, £50 is going into birthdays. 20 30 40 50 pounds. I haven't actually got a 20, 30, 40, 50. I haven't got a birthday in February. Um, so it just, yeah, bulks it up a little bit. So these are five pounds, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and 50. So I'll just mark these off. There we go. And that is 50 going into birthdays. Um, right, the next one is outings. Now we've got nothing planned, but we do like the thought of going to watch the new film that's coming out, uh, Migration. It's a bit of a cartoony one, but just me and my daughter. It don't come out till, I think, the 3rd of Feb, something like that. I'm going to put £20 into our tins, and then that bulks that up a little bit as well. And obviously the cinema isn't cheap anymore. I can't remember the last time we went, but I know for the family of four it was like £80. So not, not cheap. Uh, right, so 5, 10, 15 and 20 going into our tins. Okay, and that's the sticky dots marked off of that. So 20 going into out ins now. Next one is beauty. I'm just gonna put 15 in beauty just to pretty much, yeah, get to the end of that line. Um, Cause I've got more than enough stuff. So uh, I'll just mark these off. And that's 15 going into beauty. Yeah, like I said, I've got plenty, plenty of bits and bobs still left over from Christmas. I've got lots of like sort of smelly sets and my daughter did as well. So between the two of us and the same as the boys, you know, all the link sets and things, we're just not in need of anything. So beauty is getting nice, nicely stacked. Um, household, what have I got down for that? Oh, I'm just going to pop £10 into household because again, yeah, I still don't need much stuff. So uh, yeah, I've got plenty of bits and bobs. So just £10 going into household today. That is that done. Right, household envelope open, £10 going in. Right, and then the last little envelope in this book is my channel. And I'm going to pop, um, I'm going to put 25 into channel, 25. Um, once again, I still don't need anything for the channel. I've got loads of sticky dots that could probably last me a lifetime. Don't need no challenges or anything. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 going into channel. I'm just literally um, sort of, what's the word, stocking it back up after the um, giveaway. I gave £20 away and the delivery and everything. So yeah, it's just giving it a restock. Okay, and that is 25 going into channel. I think I repeat myself, don't I? Because I pause it, I forget what the last thing I said was. 
Um, right, and the last one was date night. I'm not going to put nothing in date night because I've got £150 in there and um, Valentine's Day is coming up. So we think we might use it for that. And £155, uh, £5,500, I saw that fiver. Uh, £150 is a lot for two people for a date night. I have actually noticed Miller and Carter are doing um, a two can dine and with a bottle of champagne at the moment. So, and I think that's about £125 for two. So it's not a cheap night, but I have saved for it. So that leaves me now 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Right, well, that leaves me £140. And I've still got my change left over for my food shop. Um, so I think I'm just going to put the rest of it into my new 40 envelope challenge. So I'm just going to pause you for a second and work out what little um, windows I want the 140 to go into and I'll be right back. Right, OK, I've brought you in a bit closer so hopefully you can see a little bit better what I'm doing. So the ones that are sealed at the top, these are the ones that I've filled. So one, two, three and four are completely done and the five. I'm going to use some of this change for my shopping money as well. So I'm going to do the number six window. Let's get that filled in. So the five... And the one can go in there, so that's six pounds. And then I'll just um, seal the top with a bit of uh, wishy tape. Is it wishy or washy? Washy tape, that's it. Uh, right, the next one I think I'm going to do is, right, 10 is done because that's got the tape at the top. I'm going to do 11 pounds. So let's get the 10 in there and then just use one of the one pound coins from my shopping just yeah it's just a nice way of saving uh that is the floorboard by the way um right the next one i'm going to do is the 16 so 10 and 5 makes 15 and then 1 makes 16 okay the next one i've decided to do is the right the uh, 20 is done the 21 is done, the 25 is done, the 30 is done. I'm going to do 31. So let's do three tens. 10, 20, 30, and one from my shopping as well. I absolutely love this one. I've only been doing it four weeks. I started right at the end of December. So this one's coming along lovely already. Um, look after the pennies and the pounds look after themselves. That is such a saying that my dad has always tried to... Yeah, put it in my brain and it's finally stuck after all these years. Right, the next one I'm going to do is door 35. So let's do 20, 30 and 5. So let's fold this over properly. Right, the £20 notes are a little bit harder to get in because this is obviously a new folder as well. So they're quite, but I think, they, yeah, they're actually quite perfect. Right, so 35 has gone in. Uh, that leaves me with 45 pounds 10 20 30 35 40 45 pounds i'm not going to bother with any more coins now i'm going to drop them and uh yeah see what we've got in savings tonight right so i think the next one i'm going to do is maybe door 26 so if i put 25 in and then next week i can just add um, a pound in and i just won't seal this one i'll leave this one open that then I know next week I've still got to um yeah pop some change in to complete that little window and then the last one I think I'm going to do is 22 so 10 15 20 and then next week I've just got to pop two pound in there so that is coming along really well and once this is filled completely filled um it holds 820 pound um yeah so right i'm just going to quickly seal all the tops off and i'll be right back right there we go and i've sealed all these off now so apart from two so the ones that are complete are one two three four five and six now from tonight um 10 is done 11 are done tonight uh 15 is done 16 are done tonight 20 i'd already done 21 was done uh, last week, uh, last month, 22, that's not been sealed up, so I can just pop two pounds in there. 25 is done, 26, that's got a two pound, uh, one pound put in next week, so yeah, 30 and 31 are done. Uh, 35 is done, and the big one at the back, 40, is done, so that is coming along really well. So I'm just going to take the camera back out, um, and then uh, I can drop all my coins. Excuse me, leaning in. 
Okay, so that's all the cash stuffing done and I've not got a lot of change left over as obviously I only had three days worth this week. So, and I have popped some in me, a 40 envelope challenge. So I think I'll just do this next part on a speed through video and then we can get to the good part and let's see what I've managed to save so far. So I'll do this and I'll be right back. Right, that's all my coins dropped and I've had a good count up of everything as well. So starting with the £1 savings box, this month I've managed to save £44. Uh, not my best month, but definitely not my worst. So the total in that £1 savings box now is £798, just £2 shy of £800. That's a lot of pound coins, I'm really happy with that. Uh, then on to the £2 savings pot, that's my favourite one and that's about halfway now. I've managed to save £100 exactly in £2 coins this month. So the total that I've got in there now is £1,554, that's a huge amount. Then on to the 10 piece, 20 piece, and 50 ps I managed to save £23.10 this month. So that brings the total in those two pot. oh no, three isn't it, 10s, 20s and 50s, what a donut. Um, brings the grand total to £337, just in 10s, 20s and 50s. That's not bad going. That could get me to Spain and back, I suppose, on an aeroplane. Um, so just in loose change alone this month, I managed to save £167.10p just out of yeah all my food shop money. So the total in my five saving pots, that's my £1 coins, £2 coins, 10s, 20s and 50s, comes to a grand total of £2,689.40. And that doesn't include the copper jar neither. There's got to be about £20 worth in there. So between all of my coins and my 1K savings challenge that I've got tucked away in my Monzo account, the total that I've managed to save so far is £3,689.40 since I started budgeting. Um, all the other envelopes there looking really healthy too birthdays that now has 70 pounds in beauty has got 75 household has got 55 outings has got 100 pound christmas is off to a really good start at the end of january i've got 120 pound in there already the channel envelope that's got 85 pound in i don't think i'm gonna have to put any more into that because i can't think what i'm gonna spend 85 pound on unless i buy myself a new tripod stand or something but this one seems to be holding out just fine uh, date night that's still got 150 in and obviously my new 40 envelope challenge I've counted all that up and I've got 320 pound in there already and I've only been doing it about four weeks and obviously the new 40 pound um, 40 pound the new 40 envelope challenge is also my savings so if I add that to my saved coins and my 1k savings challenge that I've completed I've got 4,009 pound 40 pence we can't forget that 40 pence they all add up. So it's all going absolutely amazing. I just find it so overwhelming when I sit back and think how far I've actually come in just over one year. I've proper dedicated myself to this and all I can say is make it continue. So all I've got to do now is stuff my 29 envelopes for the month of February. So I'm just going to get those out. Right, okay, that's my 29 envelopes ready for the month of February. Seems strange, 29. Um, and then obviously it's my payday today, so I left all my direct debit bill money in my account to come out throughout the month. And then I withdrew everything else. So I've got 29 uh, £20 notes and 29 £2 coins. So I'm just going to stand and put £22 in each envelope to last us through the month of February. Um, and I have got some extra left over. Um, I usually have about £20, so I get it changed up into £2 coins to pop into here. But this month I had £40. Um, so I presume that's because I've got obviously yeah, an extra day or two where there's usually 30, 31 days in the month. But yeah, I had that little bit extra. So I've bled her dry of £2 coins. So all she could give me was £20 in twos and £20 in ones. But I said that's absolutely fine because obviously I've got my pound um, savings pot as well. So yeah, I'm just going to stand and put £22 into each of these envelopes and then I'll be right back. Right, okay, that's my 29 envelopes filled and ready to go for the month of February and then what I had left over in my bank, uh, so it was £40, uh, so I've got £20 in £2 coins and £20 in £1 coins 
and like I say if I leave it in my bank I know it's just so easy to flip that card and I know I'll spend it so it's better in my savings pots as there's this temptation to me spending it so I've got 10 two pound coins one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so I'll just get these marked off and that is 10 marked off of there so that gives February a really good start already now with my savings let's get rid of that right 10 two pound coins going in And then it's just the one pound coins. Right, this will take me a minute to do because there's 20 of them. Uh, I had to get a new sheet out as well. So I'll just do this off camera because I'm counting to 20 on here. So I'll just mark 20 off. And voila, that is 20 marked off of there. So let's get these in here. Um, oh, right, let me do this with two hands actually because I don't want them flinging down the back. Oh, this is actually quite. Um, yeah, that was quite a nice feeling putting all that lot in there. So, right, that's it for me tonight, then, guys. I'll be back on Sunday for a normal budgeting video to see how February's, uh, yeah, savings and budgeting is going. And I've uploaded a food video tonight as well, just in case any of you like those. So, all right, then, guys, take care and thank you so much for joining me. Bye.